Hello, I'm Richard Vobes and I'm out exploring once again. This time I'm down by an old canal. You can see the water down there, or some of the water. Um, the canal is really no longer here and um, I'm walking along what looks like a footpath but it's not a footpath. I have my expert with me, Martin Snow. Hello Martin. Hello there Richard. Uh, annoyingly we've already recorded this once but we didn't turn the microphone on so we're going to do it again um, on just a practice run it is uh, we're, we're walking well let's tell everybody where we are first of all um, we're in West Sussex we're walking along towards Pulborough or near to Pulborough to a village called Hardham, Hardham yes. um, and we're walking along the Arran navigation a canal that once had a life but no longer does so just tell us a little bit about the Aran navigation if you wouldn't mind Martin um, yes well it ran from Littlehampton to Pallingham Quay where it which is north of Pulborough right on the river um, which is where the Way and Aran Canal began at a, at a set of locks um, it was used to carry um, various commodities um, Quite a lot of chalk was used to take uh, up river uh, fr from the quarries in the downs to uh, to lime kilns that the uh, farmers would use uh, to burn to, to manure or fertilise the fields, improve their um, production. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> steep there. So, so and, and building materials and and all uh, uh, yes, and, and all kinds of things. And of course, this, this linked up really to London via the River Way, then the Way and Arran Canal, and then this little cutting to the River Arran to cut off a bit of time. That's right, there's a um, big loop. And then down to the coast. So back in the day before you could put your stuff on a train or bung it on a lorry, because your only other option was donkeys or horses and carts that's right on roads that were pretty impassable and exactly uh, and rutted and stuff yeah yeah or well impassable i mean yeah even <laughs> even, even now uh, we're having to pick our feet carefully and it's in the middle of summer yeah allegedly a allegedly exactly we're filming in in august so one of the reasons that we wanted to come along this path is there's an interesting um archaeological um, industrial archaeological construction I'm just picking my words very carefully here because that's your area of expertise really <laughs> like to think so. um, and that's the Hardham tunnel so this cutting was made to cut off well to make time really for the barges that were coming along being pulled by horses along the towpath the the the, the, the you can't really see it so much but there's every now and again I get glimpses of the water which is just resting in the ditch of where the town where the canal was but there came a point where they decided to build a tunnel why the tunnel um because well, it's i mean because it's quite flat isn't it i mean they could have dug it, it, yes it's not a massive hill but um apparently the, the uh, they they plan they plan to make a cutting but the landowners um said no you're not going to make a cutting we um we don't want to great big ditch across our land um, so they they opted to build a tunnel which of course um, meant that they could carry on with the project exactly. uh, um, yeah so landowners could be a bit contentious couldn't they because I suppose a, a great ditch going through their land meant that they would have to have bridges to bring their sheep or cattle or whatever is grazing on there it sort of restricts what they can do on their land. Yes, and it could, could could have been they wanted a lot more money. Yes, yeah, so they saw it also as an opportunity to earn. Uh, but if while one's cynical, one might suggest that, that was the case. So we, we one of the things that we wanted to do was to try and find the entrance to the tunnel. But this is uh, not going to be so easy today because we picked the wrong time of year because everything is so overgrown as you can see and the entrance down to the ditch, unless you've got perhaps a strimmer or a hedge cutter, <laughs> you're just not gonna see it, which is a shame. Um, but it was partially filled in 
when they built the railways over the tunnel. So that's the next bit of our walk. So although we would like to have shown you the entrance to the tunnel, we're going to go and have a look at the railway part of the story. This is the A29 and this is the road that goes really down to Bognor to, um, through Pulborough and then up towards Horsham and London. But we're now crossing under our feet, let me put it that way, under our feet is the tunnel, the Hardham Tunnel, which we came to see. We can't see it, but we can be above it. So <laughs> we're, we're above it. Um, so the, a road went over the tunnel and then a railway which we're going to come and see. Now there's significance about this railway bridge. Why put it in and, and why do that? Um, well, because they needed, the canal was still in use, so they had to provide access for the horses to walk over the top of the tunnel because the tunnel was only big enough for the barges, um, which would be most likely legged through, i.e. the chaps would lay on their back and walk on the roof. Yes, so they, they would lie on the back, on the top of the, the roof of the barges, with their feet treading on the circular wall of the top of the tunnel, yeah. to push the barge through this very narrow tunnel to the other end. And then, of course, they wanted to pick up their horses on the other side. That's it, yeah. And, and they needed to cross the railway, and hence they put in this railway when, when bridge. They the, when, when they, they built the railway, they had to put the bridge in to give access. Yes. And of course, the canal was still open. This isn't side. the original bridge, is it? Um, it well, it will be underneath. The, right, I okay. think. Because we're on a sort of tarmac -y and yeah, I mean, it's it's all been, looks a bit, a uh, bit different now. Network Rail have obviously done the clean-up job on it. So the tunnel itself is about half a mile or a quarter of a mile? Quarter, about a quarter of a mile. quarter of a mile through um, farmland, really, as we said before. Yeah, so well, we at that time, it was virtually um, deserted land. A lot more ha houses now. <coughs> and, and this was a problem that the canal builders had. While they needed to get the, the, the barges across country, they came across all these sort of little problems of crossing landowners land and the problems that the landowners would whether they would permit or not permit getting an act of parliament to have the canal in the first place sorry you're doing all the work with the gates i i quite like that um and the, the, the actual railway is is just is just behind me uh, down here and if you can just see that on the edge of the edge of the film and uh, so the disappointing thing about this walk is that we haven't been able to see the front, well, one end of the tunnel, but can we see the other end, uh, uh, Martin? Um, unfortunately, no, it's on private land and there's no uh, footpath no nearby, access. unlike at the southern end. So a, a bit of a disappointment that we couldn't actually show you or go into or explore the tunnel itself, except that we've recorded that the tunnel was here is still here and is it uh, it's not listed or anything like that is it no no, no. i think uh, you know i think it's more of a nuisance as far as the railway is concerned because they have to make sure it doesn't um, collapse doesn't collapse yeah so there, it, there is a manhole back there to uh, for them to inspect so they can so so some um railway people can nip down there and look at it but that's it yeah we can't no no oh well hey ho Join me again on another walk um, and hopefully we'll have more to show you, more to see. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell notification button and then you'll hear, have uh, access to the, pod, the video, forget what I'm doing, uh, when it comes. And give me a thumbs up or make a comment if you've been there perhaps. Uh, tell me about your visit. Thank you, Martin. OK, where do we go now? Uh, Can you remember? Well, we... Wait a minute, we'll have to go back through the woods. Oh, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Slipping and sliding. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Bye bye. Bye bye.